Alright, there's something I've been meaning to talk to you about with you guys, is that obviously Dead Space 3 has been announced, and, uh, you know, like, officially. Last video, I don't even think it was announced that I made the wish list. I don't even think it was announced, it was just rumors. But, you know, it's officially announced, it was shown at E3, and, um, also, just gonna point out, I might have a video or a picture or something going on in the background in the video so you're not bored or whatever of just hearing me talk but that's not the point the point is everybody is complaining about Dead Space 3's like single player and co-op uh, honestly I see nothing wrong with this Dead Space it's the point is though no one realizes this okay there is a single player campaign, a standalone single player campaign that you can play by yourself. Where Isaac's having hallucinations still and all this other stuff is supposed to be happening. And then there's a separate campaign from that, which is co-op campaign where you play with two people. Honestly, Dead Space 3 to me still looks look at like, you know, how Dead Space 1 and 2 felt. Sure, you're outside every now and then, but they have confirmed, Visceral Games, the creators of Dead Space, confirmed that the game will still be dark. And from the, the E3 demo, you can obviously tell that the game is still dark. It looks dark. They just clearly stated that they wanted to make the game a bit more colorful, though. So they, you know, it looked like they have. They, they made it so the outside environment has a lot of color to it. The enemies and your, even your suit looks like it has a bit more lush color to it. Uh, what people need to really stop complaining about, though, is is the horror, survival horror. Uh, I mean, honestly, Dead Space 3, if you think about it, it's scary. And at times, if you play with the lights off, don't have anybody near you, you're focused on the game... It really will, like, make you, not literally, but it will make you, like, shit your pants, pretty much. It's a game that's supposed to intend to scare you. And, sure, a lot of them are jump scares, but people still get scared at jump scares. I mean, like, if you're just walking down a long hallway and then, boom, out of nowhere, an uh, enemy just jumps right in front of you. Or, like, they even stated in the new Game Informer that enemies will pop out of the snow, like, at your face in front of you. That's gonna be kind of scary, like, you're just walking out on the snow outside, like, admiring how, oh, look at the view, the game is so, the game is so, you know, colorful, like they said, it's all pretty, and then out of nowhere, Necromorph just pops up in front of you and tries to eat your face off. Like, that, <laughs> that, you know, that's scary. That is, it's not, it's a jump scare. It'll make you, you know, go, whoa, or holy shit, and start shooting it. You know, and if they, if they cooperate not cooperate, uh, incorporate that in the co-op campaign, you know, and then just have enemies pop in front of you and your friend outside, and like, when you're outside and you're, and it's snowing and crap, you're gonna be like, holy shit. Um, people also have been asking, will you be out in outer space in Dead Space 3? That's a little obvious. If you hadn't noticed, the very first scene that they show is Isaac standing outside, and it's actual gameplay, you can tell, because there's a little meter on his back. The little, uh, air meter thing was on his back. And, you know, it's obvious that you're gonna be outside, like, you're on a planet, like, you're not on Earth. Anything, personally to me, if you're not on Earth, and you're on another planet, that counts as a space kind of war or whatever the hell kind of game you're playing or you know you're out in space you're on another planet you're not on earth and even if dead space which i'm pretty sure it does have an earth but you know even if dead space didn't have an earth you know you're still considered out in outer space you're on another planet that isn't considered earth so personally i think the game is still gonna be really scary Dead Space 3 still looks pretty scary, and it still looks as gruesome as it always has. I mean, they had a whole cutscene of Isaac getting swallowed by a giant monster. The game still, you know, has its, you know, as the company's name is, visceral look to it. So, I don't see why everybody's complaining. I really don't. Dead Space 3 looks good. The game's not even out yet, okay? You can't complain... That a game is going to look utter... No, okay, you can complain that the game can look shitty or whatever. 
But until you actually pick up the game and play it, you can't say that it is crap or is it it is shitty because you, you haven't played it yet. It comes out February of next year. You have enough time to wait for other trailers. Like it's obvious that they did an action-y trailer to attract people like that play Call of Duty to come over and go, "Oh, wait, look, look, that's Dead Space. All huh? right, let's 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 play the other games and then buy 3, you know? Like that's the only reason why they did that. Resident Evil 6 had a action trailer for E3. And while 5 was an action-oriented game, it's a little obvious that Resident Evil 6 is trying, at least trying, to go back to survival horror due to the fact that the monsters and zombies are back. Like, the monsters in Resident Evil 5, they were like, eh. But, you know, there's that big giant dude that they keep showing that will grab you and, like, literally just... Looks like he's indestructible and he just smashes through shit like the incredible fucking Hulk. You know, like, he does. Alright. Honestly, what I'm trying to say is, though, because this is really irritating and aggravating for me as a Dead Space fan, and I, I enjoy the games a lot. Don't judge the game until you actually have played it and owned it, okay? It, you obviously, no one has. You know, so. Just wait for the game to come out, is all I'm saying. Don't bitch at it or anything like that. Just don't. Just wait for the game to come out. Wait for, hell, wait for more trailers to come out. You're no, you know there's going to be more trailers of Dead Space 3. Visceral Games always makes like three to four Dead Space trailers with each game. So, you know... And it was funny because Dead Space 2 is a bit horrifying, but it had a little action in it. You know, like... Dead Space 2, it's funny because Dead Space 2, they made a trailer called the Smashing Pumpkins, you know, trailer, the, the one where they played the one song, Bullet for, for Your Vampire Wings or Butterfly Wings or whatever it's called, uh, but, you know, how he says, the, you know, the world is a vampire, -da -da -da, and then they start playing that song and then they show a bunch of action clips and stuff. Nobody complained about that. Everybody was like, oh, this is awesome. Well, here they come, Dead Space 3. They make another little bit of an action trailer still showing some horror in it. And they have a little bit of rock music in it. And people are complaining. You didn't complain about Dead Space 2. Why are you complaining about Dead Space 3? Oh, it's a co-op. No, no. Don't blame the co-op. When the co-op is, especially for the fact that the co-op is a separate campaign from single player. And there is, there is in the single player, there is no AI. There is no fake little AI person following you around. You're just Isaac in the single player. Get this through your heads, please. Just, this is the, the point that I'm trying to get across, okay? Dead Space 3 is still going to be like all the other Dead Spaces. You're going to be in dark corners. You're going to be out in outer space from time to time. And there's still stuff that's going to pop out and scare you. You know, like... Stop complaining about the game until it comes out and you play it. That's honestly all I can say. I'm going to keep putting emphasis on that because it's true. This this applies to all games. Do not complain about it, really, until you actually have owned it. Or, say, for example, your buddy has it. Then go at his house and play it. You don't have to buy it. Rent the fucking game, for Pete's sake. Just rent it and play it and then make a speculation on it. All right? I mean, people have Gamefly. You know, rent the damn game and play it, alright? That's all I wanted to point bring out. Uh, this video is surprisingly not 10 minutes long like most of my videos. It is getting there, though. So, uh, that's all I really wanted to point out. Thanks for watching the video, guys, and see ya.